Hello, hello, welcome back to online learning. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Welcome back to week seven of online learning. I am so excited that you guys are all back today. Thank you so, so much for such a wonderful week last week. Ms. Carranza and I appreciate all of the kind things that you guys sent us, poems, videos, pictures, everything that you did for us to make us feel appreciated. Um, so thank you guys for that. We're going to go ahead and get started with this week. Um, remember that on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you have library with Miss Walton. Please be sure to be checking on that. She has been also putting stuff on Dojo, so you can make sure to look at the Cornelia School Dojo. And our club is at two. This week for science, we are talking about arachnids, and that's a kind of big word, and we're going to get to learn a little bit more about what that means. But before we go ahead and get started with that, I want to remind you guys that we are checking on who has been doing Imagine Math and Imagine Learning during the week. So we thank all of those who have been able to log on. If you haven't logged on, please, 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 we ask that you take at least 15 minutes per day. Um, so that it can build up to like an hour for a week. But as much as you can, if you are able to do it, we really think that this is just a great way to help you guys keep going and moving on with your skills. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. This week we are talking about arachnids, okay? So before we start reading our book, I kinda want you to look at our cover. What do you think arachnids are based on our cover? Okay, maybe we could be talking about spiders because that's what's on the cover, but we're gonna go ahead and see by jumping over to our book. About arachnids. Arachnids have eight legs and two main body parts, okay? They have a skeleton on the outside of their bodies. Most arachnids live on land. Okay, so I kind of want you to, we're going to pause and start talking about some things or start thinking about some things that we see that are similar to what we talked about last week and some things that might be different. So these types of animals mostly live on land. Most arachnids are predators hunting for and eating smaller animals. Some have a poisonous bite that helps them eat their prey. Others suck blood from larger animals, okay? So here we see an arachnid called a tick, and this is most common in animals such as rabbits, dogs, um, sometimes cats might even get them. Um, and then these are just called parasites. So it means that they take from animals. Some use pincers and a stinger to catch food and protect themselves. Now, here we have a scorpion. And a scorpion, when it feels like it's in danger and it needs to protect itself, it uses its pincers. Many arachnids spin silk to help them capture food. So here we have a spider web. And in this spider web, you can start seeing some animals getting caught. So when they get caught there, all the spider has to do is come, wrap it up in silk, and they're able to eat it without having to really fight or battle to find them. They may also use silk to help them travel. So here we have a garden spider and it helps it throw silk and it helps it swing from branch to branch or from leaf to leaf to get to a new place or protect their young. Some mother arachnids care for their eggs or babies. So here we have a spider with her sack of eggs and a scorpion who's actually has her babies right on top of her, you can see that. A few arachnids are too tiny to be easily seen. So this is actually next to an acorn, those itty bitty tiny acorns. So can you imagine 
being able to see that, you must have really good eyesight. Some arachnids may cause harm. So here we have a little spider that's actually inside a shoe. So you always need to be careful, especially if you're around areas that have spiders, make sure that you check everything. But most are helpful and should be protected. Alrighty, so as you may have guessed, we are talking about arachnids, and one of the most common arachnids is called the spider. So here are a few things that we learned about arachnids. One, arachnids have eight legs. So here we see this one. This little spider guy right here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Arachnids lay eggs like many of the animals that we've talked about. What are some animals that also lay eggs? Bird, fish, good, insects also, very good. Arachnids have exoskeletons. So like I said last week, we're not talking about vertebrae animals anymore. We're talking about invertebrate. And invertebrate animals are the ones that have their skeletons on the outside of their body. Arachnids are carnivores, so most arachnids actually eat meat. They either eat other animals or they get their protein from other animals, like we saw the ticks that use the blood of animals to get what they need. Arachnids have two body parts, and arachnids are cold-blooded, which means that they need their environment to help them regulate their temperature. So what we're going to do a little bit different today is that we're actually going to be able to look at these different parts of the arachnid. So we're going to go ahead and identify the different types of body parts that arachnids have. So something very important that we learned in the book is that arachnids have two body parts. They have their head and their abdomen, kind of like the insects, except the insects have a third one called the thorax, right? So the very first things that we're going to identify are the head. So I want you to kind of look around our picture and see if you can identify where the head is. Alrighty, so let's see if you got it. This is the head of the arachnid. Good job. Next, we have the abdomen. Okay, so where could the abdomen be? Yep, there we go. It is. Yep, there we go. It is right over here. So it's the one that's behind the head. Okay, so on the head, we have some different types of things. First of all, if you notice, all of the legs are actually on the head part. They're not on the back in the abdomen. So all of their legs are connected to their head. Look right here. Next that we have on the head are the eyes. So like insects, they have several eyes so they can see all around their environment. So we're going to go ahead and move the eyes. Awesome. Another thing that they have in their head is called the feelers. So like insects that use antennae to feel, arachnids have something called feelers to, you guessed it, help them feel. Now going back to the abdomen, they have something um, very special. The specifically these spiders have something called spinnerets. So this is actually where their webs come from and where they can they are able to build their little spider webs. So as we do every week, we're going to go ahead and start preparing for our activity for Class Dojo. I need you to go ahead and grab your paper. Remember that we are putting our name, the date, and we are saving three spots to put our important facts. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our 
arachnid, which today we are focusing on the spider. So we're going to start off with the abdomen. And this is kind of a different looking spider, but you can kind of get the idea of it. Okay, so we're going to draw that back part and they kind of made it look like it has some fur or some hair because some spiders actually do. And remember that that just helps us know um, that they use it for protection, to protect them from the sun, whatever they may need. So once you have this back part done, we're going to go ahead and move on to the head. So we have the rounded head. And on the top, they're actually drawing some feelers to help them feel. We're going to draw a little smiley face for them. A little happy face. Next, we're going to draw one of the most important things about arachnids, their legs. So remember, they have eight legs. So that's exactly what we're going to draw now. We're going to start off with some of the back legs. Oh, and he's putting them in the back so we can kind of see the different movements that they make. Okay, we're on leg number three and finishing off that first leg over there. And then we have one at the very, very front. All right, now we have four legs on one side. That means that we have to jump over to the next side and do the other four legs. Because four plus four is eight. that last leg right there and then we're gonna draw them with their little web on their back to make it show that they're like hanging from it and with that we have completed our spider drawing here we go mine's a little big for my page but that's all right i have enough space down here to write what i need all right, boys and girls, like we do every week, I want to remind you guys of our activity on the very same page where we just drew. You are going to be writing three important characteristics of the arachnids that we talked about in this lesson, okay? So you can go back to the video, go back to the book or the page where it has all of our information. You are writing important stuff about them, not the body parts. We already know the body parts. I want to know what you think is the most important things about this animal. And with that, boys and girls, I hope that you guys have enjoyed our first lesson for this week, week seven. I am so excited that we have made it so far already. I'm excited because you guys have been doing an awesome job and Ms. Carranza and I are so, so grateful to be your teachers. So thank you so much. I look forward to seeing all of your hard work and I will see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana.